This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we pit wolves against raids. Let's get to it. So for those of you who do not know, if you have not tamed a wolf yet, uh, they will attack anything and everything. Like they just, they're, they're little fuzzy murderers. So that got me thinking, if you can manage to get a breeding pair of some two stars, and you could just have an infinite amount of wolves, would they work or should you use them as a base defense against raids? So that's what we're gonna test here. I got a bunch of them following me, but you shouldn't necessarily have to have them follow you. Uh, you could just place them somewhere around your base and the raid will come to wherever you are. So if you leave your base, the raid is going to go to, it won't attack your base, it's gonna go to where you are. So you could just go to to your group of wolves and stand in the middle of them. So we're going to go through each of the raids here. Uh, this first one is going to be an absolute massacre, I'm sure. And that's going to be Deerface's raid of Boar and Nex. Okay, so any second now. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. And the dogs are alert and the boar is done. We got a neck over there. I don't know, I don't know what it's doing. It's just like hanging out over here. Yeah, we might just end this one and go on to the next one because this, this is sad. Like, they're not even attacking poor little tiny woodland creatures. I mean, they're rallying, but nothing's, nothing's really going down. Let's move on to something more entertaining because I don't think this one's going to be a problem for you ever. Okay, here we go with the forest is moving. This should be a little bit more entertaining uh, and a little more test worthy, I hope. Yeah, here we go. We got some poison sprayers, some brutes. Oh, wow. He just got destroyed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is going to be a challenge at all. Yeah, so for this event, you essentially would not have to do anything. You could just like, we're going to stand on this rock. We're just going to stand here for, for all of these and see what happens. I don't even think we need, we just, we could just go AFK right now because the wolves have this completely under control. Look at them go. Look at it. So that one uh, is not going to be, I thought maybe the brutes or the, the shaman. Oh my God. He just got one shot. I thought maybe the brutes or the shaman might put up a little bit of a fight, but the wolves just tear through them so fast that they don't even stand a chance. Like, look, here comes another shaman. He's not even going to get his, is he going to get a poison breath off? <gasps> oh, nope. And I think he missed all of the wolves. They came running back and now they're going to eat him. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that one's not a problem. Okay, so now we have a foul smell from the swamp. This is the bone mass army. Um, this one might be a little bit of a, this, this might be one that, that takes out a couple of wolves here. Let's see. These guys hit pretty hard. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, so do the wolves. We got some skeletons going down. Yep, skele oh yeah, skeletons don't even stand a chance. The only ones that worry me a little bit are the Draugr, like this archer over here. Yeah, see now this is the problem because like, I guess you wouldn't be able to AFK because they're not- Oh, you know what? Because they're set to follow. I bet the idea here is to not have them follow and they'll just run all over and not try to be right at me. I think that's the mistake I'm making here. So let's just set them to stay and then they'll run around and they won't be trying to come to the rock. So we had, uh, oh, by the way, we started with 10 wolves. That's, that's how many we have right now. I'm just going to let them go until they all die. I mean, we can throw down some food. They will eat the food and heal. We might do that um, after one of these fights. I don't think I'm going to do it after this one. If we lose any, we lose any. But yeah, I think, uh, I think they have this one under control. We got another, another Draugr coming in here. The, the problem is, is there's so many wolves and the, the creatures of the swamp just don't spawn fast enough. Yeah, like two wolves versus any of these guys. One wolf versus any of these guys is pretty rough on uh, whatever is coming in here. Yeah, that works much better. So do not have them following you. I thought that that would be ideal, but no, you just kind of want them wandering around your base. I don't think we lost any wolves. We got some that are hurt, but honestly, they would eat in between these fights anyway. 
and heal right back up. Okay, next up is a skeleton surprise. Uh, considering they handled the blobs are or the bone masses army just fine, um, I have a feeling that they're not going to have an issue with skeleton surprise either. I did spawn some meat so that they could eat in between the fights here if they do eat that often. I mean, I doubt they're going to eat that often, but uh, yeah, we'll see. They're gonna this one's not going to be I mean the skeletons are hitting hard over there as you saw Oh, well, there was a 107 in there. I think that was the wolf though Pretty sure that was a wolf you can get some bigger skeletons like there's the the big green guys with the, the maces Oh, we got one uh, w One wolf versus many skeletons over here. Oh, nope. He's dead. Okay. Here comes the green one. Oh He just got one shot for 135 damage from one wolf uh, they're ignoring that guy over there. He's just pecking at them. Oh, wait, is that one going? Nope, nope. He got changed his mind. Got uh, one, another one versus three over there. Does not seem to be a problem. Oh, wait, actually, no. He's uh, he's hurt pretty bad, but I think he'll be all right. Anybody gonna go get that one over there? Nobody. Nobody. You, you guys are just gonna hang out and let him, let him continue to shoot? It's like they see him, but they can't figure out how to go over there and get him. They're kind of like wigging out. I think we're going to lose a wolf. Yeah, that one, uh, he's about to bite the dust. Oh, nope, he's still alive. Wolves, go get that guy over there. Is that one going? Is he going? Finally. Finally, yeah. Um, So far, so good. I think they work as a pretty decent uh, defense. They handled Skeleton Surprise with no problem. All right, here we go. The ground is shaking. Let's see how they do against some forest trolls. I have a feeling this we're, we're definitely going to lose a few wolves here. All right, so we got one in the distance. Here he comes. This one's coming at us. Now, they're going to come straight for me. Yep. Oh, nope. He's throwing one at the... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, nope. There, he's done. He got one good hit in. Oh, he did too. I think we lost a couple of wolves there. Yeah, yeah. We lost at least one, I think. But we also took down some trolls. Oh, wow. He just took a log right to the face. And he's done. It's not over. We're going to see this one all the way through. I didn't see the skeleton surprise all the way through because, I mean, they, come on. They were handling it obviously just fine. These guys are going to be a little rougher, though. And, oh, 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 he gets stunned. They get stunned and then they die before they have a chance to attack. So they get in at least one attack and then they die before they have a chance to do anything else. Okay, here we have another one. I think it's the ones that are carrying the giant log club are, are like the scariest. Nope, and the, fake, the shaking is fading. It's pretty much over. He's going, well, yep, that guy's going to go down fast. He's got a wolf on his butt, and he's staggered, and he's dead. Yep, there we go. Um, that actually, the wolf defense worked a lot better than I thought there for that one. I thought for sure we were going to lose a lot of wolves there. All right, we got sulfur in the air. Here we go, wolves versus surtlings. Uh, the surtlings do, like, their ranged attack has a bit of AoE to it. So if the wolves group up... I mean, but I don't think they do nearly enough damage. Oh, there was a direct hit. No, they do not de do nearly enough. Although, the wolves are on fire, which that's not good, but we'll see. Ooh, maybe. I mean, they're burning for... Well, that one's burning for a lot. Now we got two of them on fire. Oh, yeah, they don't run in. They have a problem with range. Like, you notice they'll run towards them and then they'll turn around and run away like they get confused like the ai gets lost and then that wolf there he got staggered that's another downside that they have is they can get staggered pretty badly and for a period of time too like they get staggered way too long but um i think i think they got it i mean that being on fire that that's that hurts them pretty bad there we got some very wounded wolves here We'll see if we lose any. Okay, so I saw that we lost at least one wolf in that fight. Um, so we have lost a couple so far. But overall, we still have... 
I have not summoned in a new pack. This is still the what's left of the first 10 that I summoned in. Okay, I'm being hunted now. So we have uh, wolves versus wolves. We'll see how this one goes. Oh, they're little level one little piddly wolves. Oh, oh wait. This could be a problem. They don't attack other wolves. So none of the wolves are attacking each other. They're only trying to attack me. So if if they can't reach me, then nothing would happen. Yeah, they only want to get a hold of me. This event here is pretty much pointless because nothing would happen. And if you stand on a rock or something, as you see here, they can't even get to you. So you could literally just hang out and wait for the timer to go down. Just get out of your house, stand on a rock, something they can't damage. So you don't really even need a defense for this one because they won't even attack your, your wolves. All right, the horde is attacking. I have a feeling this one's going to go very badly. Fullings hit really, really hard. And I don't know if even having tier two wolves, if it's going to make a difference. Oh yeah, like this guy over here, he's definitely gonna destroy probably most of our wolves. So I saved this one and uh, the army of motor for last because I'm pretty sure motor's gonna be, oh wow. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure motor is gonna be the drakes and because they attack from the sky, I think they'll just destroy all the wolves because the wolves obviously won't be able to attack back. But I'm surprised how quickly they took down that berserker. Yeah, he's growling. Oh, 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 dang. That was brutal. He took out one. No, get in there and attack, wolf. Attack, don't retreat. All right, all right, we're good there. Oh, yeah, Um, that's not good. If they don't go over there to get him, Okay, yeah, this is this is going to be bad. This is going to be an absolute wolf massacre. Oh, he's destroying my rock. He's very smashy smashy. And then on top of that, they're shielded. Yeah, we're almost out of wolves. So I spawned in 10 more. We'll just see how it goes. Oh, yeah, they just get destroyed by this shaman guy over here. He just destroyed like half of them in one shot with his freaking fireball. And then, oh, they got him. They managed to take him out, but we're down to one wolf left. They didn't take, you would need a massive freaking horde to be able to go against the goblins. And I'm pretty sure this is the last one that we have here. Yeah, this is Drake's. So they would not work against the Drake's either. So in conclusion, the wolves will work for defense for all of the raids or events, whatever you want to call them, except for the wolves because they won't attack the wolves. But the wolves aren't that threatening because you can just get up someplace where they can't attack on like a stone or something and then just wait it out and attack them from you know ranged from a distance so that one's not too bad they will not work for the army of motor because that's drakes and the goblins are just too strong even having tier two wolves you would need an absolute massive massive amount probably i don't know we did 10 there and they got killed pretty quickly so i would say at least 50 if not 100 to be able to just handle that one event and then most of them are probably going to die in the process because they were taking out two and three wolves at a time the that goblin shaman was just brutal when it came to the aoe damage but for all of the other ones even the force trolls that being one that you get early on i thought for sure that one was going to be one that where they just dropped left and right due to the fact that the force troll with the club has a big old aoe and the other one throws the boulder and stuff but yeah i mean they work pretty well as a base defense so let me know what you all thought about the results from this video down there in the comments section i'm eager to hear what you all think have you been using the wolves as a defense let me know and if you enjoyed this video consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload other valheim videos and i don't just cover valheim just so happens it's a feature game on the channel right now so you never know when i'm going to be making content for a game that you may be playing all right that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider that sub button i want to give a big thank 
thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my League Core Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.